Tonight, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser outlined some of the latest plans for next year's Super Bowl, and he did it in front of some of the people who could be most affected by that plan and the crowd. WGN's Rick Gogri was also at the meeting. Rick. Current Lieutenant Governor Nungesser touched on everything from infrastructure to policing in the quarter, and he says he plans to get the quarter in top shape in time just for the Super Bowl and then keep it that way moving forward. With Super Bowl 59 less than a year away, so Billy Nungesser is making it a priority to spruce up the French Quarter ahead of the big game and then moving forward after. He spoke with French Quarter residents regarding his plan on how to manage the area. One of the things I see is the Lieutenant Governor is really passionate about the Quarter and doing things that are good for businesses and residents, so we're excited to see that. One of the main focuses highlighted in his plan is to find permanent solutions to the poor street and sidewalk infrastructure in the quarter. I think we've spent more money patching than if we resurfaced them once the right way. Uh, we spend more money on first aid kits, patching up people that cross the street here by Jackson Square that fall in the street because you can't cross the street, the crack tiles on the sidewalks. It's just unacceptable. He then touched on crime, mentioning how important the presence of the state police has been in the city and says he expects a heavier use of technology such as cameras and drones by them to help fight criminals in the quarter. The collaboration between the ATF, the FBI, Troop NOLA and NOPD has done a lot to raise the awareness of people who are committing crimes. So maybe it's going to get our culture of noncompliance in place. However, Nungesser says it is then the judges and the district attorney's jobs to make sure that the criminals who commit these crimes stay in jail so that they can't reoffend again. The good citizens of this city deserve protection first. We can, we can rehabilitate and talk about that later, but if you got a gun and you're committing a crime, don't wait till you kill somebody to put them in jail. They need to be locked up. Nungesser will be speaking again tomorrow at the Our Lady of the Sea Hospital groundbreaking at 200 West 134th Place at 10 a.m. Kurt? Rick Gogri reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Rick.